this Windows 10 ISO looks exactly like Windows 7. So all you gotta do is type Reunion 7. I'm gonna click on the first link up here. And then let's click on Download Now. It is based on Windows 10 LTS. C 2021 which is a long support version of re like uh, Windows 10 officially by Microsoft we're gonna go here to main download and uh, okay we don't get no Google Drive link so we're gonna go through the other kinds of websites we're gonna go to this one you get a weird sketchy link if we try to click download from here you actually get the ISO and here we have our reunion 7 ISO getting downloaded and we're gonna review it I don't have a video capture card so I'm using the camera to record so now it's time to restart the computer in order to access the boot manager spam the f12 key EFI USB device generic flash disk there's a little floating dash that's kind of weird not just kind of but it is really weird we get the little Windows 10 spinning icon or wheel <laughs> it's the Windows 7 but no way they just used the Windows 7 installer. There is actually no way. This looks exactly like the Windows 7 installer. There, there, no way. This must be the Windows 10 one but skinned to look like the Windows 7 one. Next. Now nah, this looks too accurate. Not setup is starting. There's your clue that it's just the Windows 10 installer. Can't believe they would even bother with the setup but that is actually impressive. Let's go to install windows and keep file settings and applications. Oh, no. No thanks then, uh, install windows only. Oof, we got our partitions. So this one has Ubuntu and this one has our regular windows 10, but guess what? I want this windows 7 looking one, so... I mean, I don't have anything important so far, so... Let's just format it. Hey look, even the loading wheel looks accurate. Click on next and yeah, this is honestly so accurate even from the setup. I can't imagine how uh, like accurate the operating system would actually be. I bet this would be better than Revert 8 Plus. Time to restart. Boom. Boom. Lenovo. I should stop setting Ubuntu as the default OS, please. Yes, finally Windows is set as the default OS. Now it's time to see how the setup would be. Now in Rufus, I didn't skip the whole like uh, setup entirely and like jump directly to the home screen, so we'll see about that. Hopefully we get it. Uh, what? Looks like Ubuntu was gone. I guess. What? What? It? It? Okay. There's no animations, like fading animations. Did it just kill my Ubuntu installation? Looks like Windows 7 hates the penguins. I guess. Even though this is Windows 10, after all. Like, are you telling me this Windows 10 version does not even have the slightest bit of setup? Like, everything is just done. I didn't even set that option in Rufus, so if that's the case, then that's great. It's It just said restarting. What, what the heck is going on? Okay, so far this seems confusing. Yeah, it just said preparing like your setup is preparing your computer for first use. And then it just, uh, just seen the task bar. <laughs> no way! They even replicated that! No! How? How the heck is made with love by team and tech stuff? I can see how much love was put into this because of the nostalgia, blinded by it. Everyone is blinded by nostalgia. Let's call it blinded by nostalgia. Let's call it fake Windows 7. Next, type password. No. Do I need a product key for Windows 10 LTSC? You know what? Never mind. I'll probably just uh, yeah, just help just use the help of Jack Sparrow. Yes, I totally purchased Windows 7 Ultimate. This is starting to gaslight me into thinking I'm chose Windows friggin' 7 Ultimate. <gasps> oh my days! I don't know. Oh dear. Okay, I'll leave the basic Windows 7 stuff. I don't feel like changing it yet. 
change the time because it's not accurate windows is finalizing your settings yeah this there is a lot of effort put into this like i can't imagine how long this took yo setup is preparing your computer for first use this is exactly like the windows 7 one what the heck ah ah welcome preparing your desktop yeah uh how long does this take to log in like i imagine it applying all the changes it's just so weird to see the mouse just appearing like this while it says preparing your desktop so let's see uh, uh, uh. graphical glitches oh shoot you got the windows Ooh, got the arrow going on but these random squares the heck it just played the windows 7 uh boot up sound and of course it should even though windows 10 doesn't have any boot up sound which i don't know how the hell they managed to show up that hey can we drag the window around yes we can though it's laggy so we'll wait ah there's our little taskbar oh it's gone thank you finish block so we get stuff just literally says stuff boot screen warning for vm users control panels and settings turn on windows 10 user tiles boot screen boot 8 plus windows vista i don't need no instructions man read me sure let's go ahead <laughs> it's wordpad reunion 7 reliving the glorious day days simplified what even is reunion 7 is this safe yes this is safe no malware found don't take my word for it i guess it's just this guy who said it yeah sure time for me to get some kind of obs wait where's the web browser i want to get the web browser so then i can get obs and all that well i mean at least we get internet explorer so that's great it even got the user account control with the sound effect what keep in mind this computer has four gigabytes of ram and an intel celeron n4000 which is a dual core processor even though it has an ssd but this is actually really really laggy as you can see right here all i'm doing is downloading obs and running chrome and just look at the dragon around it is actually extremely laggy despite being based off windows 10 ltsc which is supposed to be like a kind of de-bloated windows version kind of but a low-end computer will be a low-end computer so the screen recording in this will be absolutely terrible so the frame rate yeah you get the idea just look at the settings obs chose the output resolution look at that 480 that's how laggy this is so far my experience with this has been absolutely laggy which is unfair because again this is a low-end computer but just to get an idea
Alright, so, uh, okay, one reboot later, we're gonna go to again to boot 8, but let's see the instruction, I bet that could be actually useful. Run setup.exe as administrator. We need to run this as administrator, and we're gonna type 1366 by 768 install. How do I know if this is actually installed? How is OBS still working? It's time for our ever so epic restart you're gonna hear that there's the log off sound or like the turning off sound there you go and now i'll see did we get like the windows 7 boot screen if so then that is absolutely insane that's just some next level dedication oh no way <gasps> oh my days H how do you do that how the hell? I thought it was gonna be some cheaply placed JPEG with like some Windows 10 loading, but yo, that is crazy. And then again, you get the impressive Windows 
a log login screen, although it has a mouse, so that's a little inconvenience for the immersiveness, but that's totally fine. Then you're gonna eventually hear the Windows 7 booting up sound in 3, 2, 1, or not 3, 2, 1, but you're gonna eventually hear it. Final remarks, this is the perfect Windows 7 clone based on Windows 10 LTSC, which means you get long-term support while making this look like Windows 7. Ace will be appreciated. Peace!